<clears throat> Remember that night when Abby Adams went to Flaherty's room and discovered all the miniatures and proceeded to drain every single one. And Burgess writes uh, something along the lines of uh, after Adams, after Nabby, after Nabby Adams had consumed the entire continent of every single miniature. He had leisure to feel a degree of shame. Something like that. <laughs> Abby Adams began his search. There was no beer in the wardrobe, nor under the bed, nor in four of the drawers of the dressing table. But the fifth drawer revealed treasure. Nabby Adams looked like hungry Gulliver eyeing Lilliputian sirloins at a neat collection of tiny bottles containing single glassfuls of various liqueurs. There were about a dozen of these bottles, all different, some round, some square, some doubly bulbous, some fluting up from a globular bottom. Nabby Adams surveyed them all with pity. Poor devil, he thought. His little collection saved up as a boy saves up fireworks against Guy Fawkes night to be gloated over in solitude, fingered and smoothed lovingly before bedtime. Poor bugger. Nabby Adams ingested successively cherry brandy, Drambouille, Crème de Mont, Cointreau, John Haig, Benedictine, Three Star, Slow Gin, Kümmel, Kirsch. The terrible thirst abated somewhat and Nabby Adams soon had leisure to feel shame. So it had come to this, stealing a child's toys, as good as robbing a gollywog money box, in order to slake his selfish and inordinate hunger. <laughs>